Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Hearty welcome to all our viewers today. Very, very excited to be here at Century Gardens Brampton Recreation Center. We're at center ice uh, of the Khalsa Cup organized by the Hockey for Humanity uh, organization that's been doing uh, charity hockey competitions for six years now. And very excited to be here. There's over 200 participants. Uh, there's hundreds of spectators. A really, really uh, energetic and electrifying atmosphere here today. We're here to witness uh, the finals, uh, the grand prize of a thousand dollars, MVP uh, nominations to be given out. There's people competing at the highest levels and it's just absolutely amazing to see the level that they're playing at. So very excited to show you what we'll be watching here today. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, let's see to find, find out who uh, wins the finals. All right, so we're now joined by Amritpal Singh Kunar, who is the captain of the Khalsa Snipers. Amritpal Singh Ji, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So what we're hearing is the Khalsa Snipers are uh, pretty favored uh, for this competition. They have a great history. Uh, so we have a lot of, a lot of uh, healthy criticism as well. But uh, so Amritpal Singh Ji, tell us a little bit about the team. Tell us about its history and tell us about your uh, goal for today. So the team was started about 15 years ago by Harm Dio. And that was the original cost of Sniper team. They played together for years and years. And when we were all little kids around, maybe 12, 13, we started playing together at Powerade Center. And the older cost of Sniper guys would coach us, they would come to practice with us, and every day we'd be playing, we'd be practicing, and slowly, 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 more people would be joining our team. We'd find more upbringing that would uh, about, like to play hockey, that like to hang out with us, that enjoyed the sport. And since I was in grade 9, I'm in my final year of university, I've been playing with everyone since I was in grade 9, and since then our team has grown to about 25 guys. And it's honestly become like a family. Like, that's what we do, we like to play hockey, we like to hang out. Absolutely. So we're, you're hearing really good things about the performance of the team. Has it always been this way? Were you, you, did you guys used to be the underdog and you worked your way up? What's the past been like? So. Even in the previous Costa Cups, we've always been just right neck and neck with all the other teams. And we've always uh, been a very gritty team and we always worked really hard. We've had a few uh, losses in the finals, I think last year in Costa Cup and a few other tournaments. So we're hoping to break that streak and clutch up this victory. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about the team. Who's on it? What are some of the backgrounds of the people that are on the team? So the team is made up of... I'd probably say about 90% of uh, Punjabi people. And then we have three uh, Gore. But the Gore, we call them Apne too because they've been with us for a long time and that's basically they become family as well. And we have two assistant captains, Jashan Ladi and Sukcha Pannu. And they've also been playing with us since we were in grade 9. And it's very inspirational to see that there's all these people that are pretty much sweating bullets uh, on the court. What keeps you coming back year after year? What's the incentive for the team? What keeps you going? So we work year round and it's honestly just the energy off each other. So when we're in a game and we see one of our players make a big play, it gets everyone hyped up. And year after year, we always want to improve and we always want to grab the Casa Cup trophy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we're hoping for the best. Uh, may the best team win and uh, we'll show you all the best on the court. All right. All right. So we're now joined uh, by the opposing team's captain. We're joined by Jason Gill. Jason, how are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? Pretty good. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about uh, the team as well. Um, well, I'm 21 years old. Uh, I've been started playing hockey very old. Like I was in what, high school when I first started. Good. Yeah, um, ended up going higher, higher, ended up playing for Men's Team India, uh -huh. and then ended up going for Junior Team Canada as well. Yeah, and then we put to this team together just because at a high school people always lose touch, so we're like, this way will keep us together. Uh -huh. Like, we're all friends here, we all hang out outside the rink, inside the rink, uh -huh. so it, it, it's good for us, it keeps us, you know, competitive, keeps us, keeps us in shape as well, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about the Brampton Predators, how long has the team been around for, how did you personally get involved with it? Um, we just used to enter in like tournaments like Casa Cup and um, we used to take our high school ball hockey team and then just put it into these tournaments uh, and then I don't know I just started I just kind of took over um, so like we try to get everybody back together we got new jerseys, you got new equipment and then we just ever since then we've just been together yeah I've been watching you guys play you guys are de definitely very very dominant what's your secret sauce what keeps you guys performing at a pretty high level um everybody would say it's all about skill I don't I don't necessarily believe it's all about skill. I believe it's hard work that will triumph over anything. Because uh, there's like a saying, it's uh, 
Um, hard work will beat skill at any time, and that's why we're work that's why we're winning. That's why we're working as hard as we are, because we're gonna. Our mission is to try to work out the other guy. Whenever someone's on me, I want to outwork him, so then we can get to the next step, right? And that's what our team is. We all want to win, so we all work as hard as we can. Yeah. So for people that don't know the roster of the Brampton Predators, what kind of backgrounds do these people have? How old are they? How did they get into hockey? Yeah, so we pretty much all of us were like different high school teams. Um, we all ended up being friends through hockey, playing against each other. Like some of our guys were the best on our team. And then we had like other schools that had their better guys. And we're like, we've, I played on another team called Janta as well. Um, pretty much all brown guys were like, hey, let's try to do that with all young guys. We have no one over, I believe, 22, right? We have no one over 22. Um, and we have young guys, like they're 15, 16 year old as well, right? We try to keep it a young core as possible so then we can grow and keep on growing, yeah. So you're facing the snipers in um, less than or 10 minutes now. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling about that matchup? You guys, I, I hear you guys have quite a bit of history on this yeah, on this court. Have, yeah, for sure. We have a lot of history. We always go at it. It's, it's usually us against them in the finals. Um, last year, we ended up winning against them. Um, and we'll see how it goes this time. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you have good chances this year? I think it'll be a 50-50 game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, that, that's good to hear. I, I have to. I have to ask. I'm five foot ten. I have to straighten my neck looking up at you. <laughs> so uh, this advantage would be pretty good in basketball. Is that something you also dabbled in? Or? Yeah, I played basketball. I ended up. I actually got like about 13 scholarships in volleyball nice. when I when I was in high school. Yeah, and then sort of sort of pick hockey okay. over volleyball. Yeah, yeah, when I was in university. Yeah. Well, Jason, it's been awesome chatting with you, and I wish you all the best on the court. Thank you. All right, so uh, we're now joined by Jaskaran Sandhu, who's one of the main uh, co-founding members of the organization. Jaskaran, how are you doing today? Good, good. Doing well. Doing great. Oh, nice to hear that. Uh, I just want to ask you a little bit about how this initiative came about. Mm -hmm. It's in its sixth year now, uh, if I'm correct, yep. and uh, it's, it's been playing a pretty key role in, in the community. So tell us a little bit about the initial days and how the idea came together. Actually, initially it started with uh, Jaspal Singh, uh, who I'm sure you guys know very well and behind the camera probably. Uh, but then also Jesse Singh as well from the CBHL, uh, myself, that was Prabhmi Sakaria, Ranjol Singh, uh, Harjol Singh. That was a group of about five, six of us and we were active in ball hockey at the time. Uh, and we started looking at the landscape, you know, like, you know, where's, where's a tournament that's happening here? Uh, that instills some of the values that are important to us, uh, Seva, Sarvatapala, and kind of representing our community better. Mm -hmm. uh, and we thought, you know, ball hockey is something that we all love, that our community is really into, uh, and we took advantage of it. And we launched um, a tournament about six years ago. Uh, this is our fifth year, sixth year now, and it's become probably one of the largest ball hockey tournaments in uh, obviously the GTA, but even Ontario. Uh, that's continuously happening every year, definitely in the charity space, uh, because every year we pick a different charity. We donate everything to that charity. Nothing comes into our pockets. Everything goes back into the community. Uh, and we started off actually staying true to our sick principles. We started off actually supporting uh, the Color Foundation. And then every year we choose a different foundation, something close to home. You know, uh, President's Choice Children's Foundation one year. Uh, this year we're doing Seva uh, Meals, which serves uh, longer to the homeless folks uh, across uh, Toronto. Uh, so every year we're trying to find something else that really helps people here on the ground. Absolutely. So let's talk about the past six years. How's the organization grown? I, I was I walked in today, and my expectation was to say mostly upper yeah. but it seems to have grown pretty diverse and much past our own community. What are your thoughts on that? How do you see the organization growing in the future? Yeah, I think it's kind of cool in that even if you look at our sponsors, right? Every year we have different sponsors. You know, our major sponsor this year was Appeal Police. Uh, it's really bringing everyone together. It's not just focused on our community, and we're very proud of our. And obviously, the Kalsa Cup is the name of the trophy, and, and we don't shy away from that. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is hockey for humanity. Uh, we've done a really excellent job of attracting some of the best players in the country to play in our tournament. Uh, we have players that play on Team Canada for the ball hockey team here, uh, not internationally and nationally, that play in this tournament. We have some of the best uh, teams in the country that play in this tournament. Uh, and we're proud to say that this is a destination tournament, uh, one of high pedigree, uh, not just here in Ontario, but uh, where people from across the country keep an eye on to see what's happening. Yeah. So what's the big vision for the future? Where is this organization headed? Look, we want to be the best uh, ball hockey tournament in the country. Uh, and that's our goal. And I, I think we're almost there already. Uh, we just want to keep growing in size. We want to start attracting more teams from, you know, whether it's Montreal or whether it's Alberta or, or BC. Uh, you know, that's the big scale uh, vision for this, that this becomes really big. And we start attracting the best uh, from across the country, not just the GTHA. Mm -hmm. 
and we raise really good money for the community. And not only are we, you know, growing the sport of hockey, uh, but that, that we're all passionate about, but we're also lifting the name of the community as well. That hey, we're a bunch of young guys. This is sports. We love it. But at the same time, we are we are keeping really strong to our roots. Absolutely, and it's yep. a very well organized initiative, I must say. So you guys definitely seem very poised to meet that goal. Yes. Uh, looking into the future, I hear you do have some personal biases towards which team is favored. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, look, I I know guys on both sides. It's nice because five six years ago, these guys were so much younger, mm -hmm. uh, and they are the teams that used to get beat up on once in a while. Some of the players were at least, and to see them now, they're the ones that are carrying the tournament a year over year now, and they and they're super competitive. Uh, I know a lot of the guys on the snipers. I, I know them really well, and, and so I am secretly rooting for them. But in our official capacity, uh, you know, we obviously are unbiased, and uh, we'll we'll let the game play out. Absolutely. Well, it was awesome chatting, just getting, and uh, we'll made the best team win. Thank All you. All right. Thank you so much. So we're now joined uh, by Mr. Chris McCord, who is uh, the chief of uh, the Peel Police. Uh, Chris, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. It really means a lot to the organization, and uh, your presence definitely esteems the event a lot more. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, about yourself and uh, just over the past years, how you've come to be involved and, and what you've seen uh, in events like these in the community. So, Peel Regional Police are very involved in the community, and I've been a police officer now here in Canada uh, for 31 years. And Peel Regional Police being a very strong supporter of the community, but a strong supporter of organizations such as this, who puts on this Hockey for Humanity event today, to be able to give back to the community. You know, there's a lot of fellowship, there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of sport happening here today, but at the same time, what you make out of this, uh, whether it be the funds, whether it be the registration, goes straight back into the community, and the community who really need that get an opportunity to benefit from it. Absolutely. Do you have any any personal background in hockey? Did you have a chance to uh, play hockey in your in your formative years? Oh well, growing up at school, we did. Uh, I played rugby. Uh -huh. But uh, at the same time, I did try field hockey a little bit, uh, but not to this extent here. Uh -huh. not, I've never played anything such as this. But at the same time, any sport is a great opportunity for a lot of the community to come together and get involved and be competitive and build that relationship. Well, I can guarantee there's players of very, very high caliber here today, so you're in for quite a game. And, uh, well, I hope you have a good time today. And once again, thank you so much for coming out to events like these because your presence definitely uh, means a lot to us as a community. Any sh words that you'd like to share with our viewers uh, from across the world here today? You know, the main thing is, is the opportunity to be able to give back. And all, everyone involved here is giving back and having a good time doing it. So that's very, very important. Absolutely. Well, Chris, thank you so much, and I hope you have a good time today. Thank you. Thank you. First off, congratulations to the Preds and the Snipers. It's always nice to have a repeat matchup from last year. Hopefully, it's a little different for those guys who lost last time. For 2019's Kalsa Cup, the only tournament in the GTHA happening as far as we know this year. We're here with really proud sponsors of our regional police. Give them a loud, loud round of applause and stick tap. Goes without saying, our charity for this year is Save Out Meals, who, are, who feed longer to those less fortunate across Toronto and the money will be going to them. So once again, thank you to all the participants who donated generously and filed their team fees on time. Your money is going to good use. Thank you so much. With that, I want to introduce our esteemed guest, Chief McCord from the Peel Regional Police, one of the largest police forces in Canada and North America. With that, Chief, here you go. Thank you very much. And thank you to all of the teams I know there's only two teams left here, but there has been a lot of teams participate in this and, and they've worked hard and registered. The big key message here is each of you are giving back and you're having a good time giving back because you're doing something that you play as a team and that you're enjoying yourselves here today. So thank you very much. Um, you know, a lot of charities can't survive without the type of support that you are giving to them. And we're so honored and proud to be able to take our crest and sponsor you and put it on your shirts. So thank you very much for the opportunity to do this. And we're here to support you each year. And we're hoping that tournament 
still continues to grow. And maybe one of these teams can get eliminated and give somebody else a chance. So let's see what happens. Okay. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good game today and play hard. Thank you. So we just had the official ball draw from uh, Peel Police Street Chief Chris McCord. Very excited. The game is about to get started. I just got hit by a ball. It's a very, very nice uh, energy around here. Uh, and it's going to be one hell of a game. So stay tuned.
All right, we're at the end of the first period, 14 minutes in. It's been a very, very uh, strong matchup so far. Both teams playing very, very defensively, so they they have their strategies in mind. Uh, and uh, it's still it's still tied at 0-0, so uh, just l waiting for the next goal because we've come very, very close to them. And uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting rest of the game. Let's see what happens here, too.
that's why you need like so All right, so we're here with Andy Harley, one of the main referees for the game today. Andy, uh, nice, to, nice to be talking to you. Tell us a little bit about your thoughts about the game so far. Well, this game here has been pretty close. Uh, both teams seem to be a little uh, apprehensive with it being a 0-0 tie. None of them want to make mistakes. So they're basically just chipping it out and playing uh, simple ball hockey. Yeah. You know, they're taking a few runs, uh, quick breaks, but uh, they're usually going for icing. So uh -huh. both teams don't want to make a mistake. First mistake's usually in the back of the net. Uh -huh. So they're playing it safe, but they're still going neck to neck. Oh, they are. And they, they, know, they seem to know each other and know how each other plays. So that, and they're both playing the same ways. So, you know, they're, they're playing a bit of the body in that, and we're letting it go. But both teams are respecting that. Do you think we'll have a result in the next period, or are we going over time? 
I think it'll be finished before overtime. Yeah? one nothing. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Thanks, I, don't know, I don't know who's going to win, though. <laughs>
you can see, three minutes left in the game. We're still at 0-0. This has been pretty intense so far. About to see another shot on the goal. Doesn't quite make it. All right, back with the snipers. Makes a long attack. Doesn't, doesn't hit it. All right, back with the snipers now. Oh, just misses that pass. Snipers are doing pretty well in their possession. They don't plan on giving up the ball anytime soon. All right, Predators aren't letting them off easy either. Back with the Predators. You gotta give it to both these teams. They're putting up quite a good defensive show. And I think that's what's led to the 0-0 ultimately. It's the defense on both sides. It's quite formidable. The goalies doing their parts. No doubt it's been an exhausting game for them as well. They've taken on quite a few attacks. Well, nice try. All right, back to the Predators. Now the snipers have it. All right. All right. Back in control with the Predators. They're keeping their defense tight. Oh, snipers intercept. Back with the snipers. Doesn't quite make it. Predators are out of the way. All right, ref calls offside. One minute left in the game. That's one minute. Still at 0-0. Pretty high likelihood of uh, seeing some shoot-offs today. Exactly one minute and four seconds left in the game, and we're still sitting at 0-0. It's been quite the show. Both goalies working really, really hard to putting on with quite a strong offense on both sides. And when they make it to the other side, the teams are not doing really, really well on their defense as well. Players are no doubt tired by now, so are the goalies. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see how the next minute shapes up, if there's going to be any major plays. If not, then we're going to be into our sudden death of five minutes. If we don't, any, don't see any goals then, then we're looking at our five-shot shoot-off right afterwards. Let's see what happens. All right, back with the snipers. All right, leading the charge. No, doesn't quite make the pass. Two on one with the Predators, three on one. Back on the offense. All right. This takes a shot, no, doesn't quite get it. All right, back with the snipers. He's leading it. Uh, doesn't quite make it to the ball. We have players tumbling. Oh, that one came close. Waits for the team. Team has it. Breaks away. Uh, good defense. Good, really good defense play by the snipers. All right, the team's with the snipers. They're all here together. Ah, uh, no. With the drop of this ball, we're now officially into our five minute sudden death competition. All right, the ball's on the floor. Both teams are gonna make this last stretch count. Going close to the goalie. This goalie's done a fantastic job in the game so far of just putting up a brilliant, brilliant defense. It's been an impenetrable wall to get through. All right. Just under four and a half minutes left. All right, another shot at the goal. Doesn't make it. Snipers try to get it out the, get the ball out of their side. Making the charge now towards the goal. And that's a goal. The snipers take it. Whoa!
The snipers take it big time. Well deserved. What a goal. That was a brilliant play. We heard those MVP chants. Well deserved. Quite a game for the snipers. Really, really happy to see this. Congratulations, snipers. How does... First things first, congratulations to both teams. This was hands down probably the most competitive finals game we've had in the last six tournaments. End to end, this was anyone's game. This is anyone's game. You guys are now one for one. Hopefully next year decides it between you two guys in the finals. But first things first, we're going to announce our MVPs for the tournament. We're going to start off with the best defensive player from the Snipers, the goaltender, Ranveer Singh Gill. And we're joined here by Minister Prabhupit Sakaria, who will be handing out the medals. Smile for the pictures. And this goes without saying again, sick channel with over one million viewers on social media, one million across the world is covering every aspect of this game. Congratulations again. MVP. You all know who it is. Mandeep Tosa. With the dagger. With the dagger. We're now going to ask the Preds, starting with their captain, to come on down to the table, collect your medal for runner-up. I know it's not as sweet as winning, but you faced off 10 competitive teams. Everyone, everyone come on down. Congratulations again, guys. Champions, snipers with the redemption. It's a Hollywood story. Come on down and collect your medals. And we know this, a lot of you personally know Minister Sakaria. So saving this a little bit more. Come on down, guys. Congratulations once again. Call the top champions. So we're now joined by Prabhmeet Sarkaria, one of the original founders of uh, Hockey for Humanity uh, and one of the, the OGs, as you, as, as you will, uh, for this organization. Uh, Prabhmeet, it's uh, nice to be talking to you. Waikajika Khalsa. Waikajika Khalsa. Waikajika Khalsa. It's great to be here again. I remember when this tournament was a small tournament uh, with the idea of just ball view, you came up with it. Uh, and now you look at how big it's become and you see the level of uh, 
uh, you know, competitiveness in this tournament, it's absolutely crazy. It's uh -huh. unbelievable to see how skilled some of these players are, and it's great to see them. The final was just amazing. It was 0-0 all the way to the end, OT winner. Yeah. So uh, congratulations to the snipers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're in the in the quiet after the storm. About 30 seconds ago, it was an absolute riot on this uh, in this rink. Uh, what did you think about the game? It was it was one hell of a nail biter up until the last minute. We were still in 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, and w what were your thoughts just looking at the game? Yeah, no, exactly. It was a nail biter right to the last minute. Uh, uh, you had great goaltending on both sides. The defense was amazing on both sides. The goaltenders held it down. And then uh, obviously we saw right in overtime that one, uh, one uh, odd man rush and uh, they finished it off. So it was uh, great to see. It was great to see the celebration after, obviously, you know, after a tough tournament when you have so many good teams. Uh, it's always great to see teams celebrate, and what better way to win it than uh, in overtime. Yeah, absolutely, and, and especially taking into, into consideration the fact that these two teams have quite a bit of history amongst them over the past few years. It was very interesting to see them uh, finally be matched up. Do you have friends on either one of the teams? Did you feel like you were biased for one over the other? Well, you know, half the Snipers teams were, uh, the half the Snipers were uh, door knocking for me last year during oh, my election campaign, so I was cheering for them, but I also had... <laughs> You know, Jason from the other side on the Preds, he was also a good supporter of mine, so I was equally balanced, but it's always good to see uh, friends win, and uh, so I'm really happy the Snipers won. Uh, they've got a long career ahead of them. These kids are doing amazing on ball hockey. We have so many kids that compete at uh, even national level for Team Canada, Team India, and different teams, uh, and uh, it's great to see uh, the support, like ball hockey. We all know hockey's a big uh, a big thing. Ice hockey's huge in, in, in Canada, but ball hockey is another sport where it's growing, and you see the tournament, right? You see where we've, where, where this organization has come in the past five years, uh, and I would say that uh, this is a huge, a huge change, and uh, great to see. Yeah, absolutely. And as we know, Pramit is also a member of provincial parliament. What do you see when you go around Ontario? What do events like these do for the community? Well, I think it's really important, right? When you we can merge two things together, you merge like sports. You can learn so much from it. You keep so many people out of trouble if you have them involved in sports. So, whether you look at hockey, whether you look at, uh, doesn't matter what sport it is, basketball, football, it doesn't matter. But if you can bring people together, and then not only that, but you give to a good cause, right? You, these guys, uh, it's a charity tournament. Every single year, there's been a new charity uh, that gets the money. Uh, and this year is no different. So that's, I think, the best part about it. You bring sport together and you bring charity to, uh, charity together. And I think, um, you know, this is something that uh, uh, just bothered you. founded a couple of years ago. You see the vision he's brought. And now you see where it's come, and it's amazing to see how, you know, something that started off with just a couple of teams has turned into something so big. Absolutely. And I was actually discussing this with Jessica and Sandhu just a few minutes ago. Uh, what is the future for this organization? You know, from six years ago up until now, we've obviously come so far. Hundreds of participants, hundreds of spectators, you know, so much money raised for the organizations. What's up ahead for Hockey for Humanity? I think it's, uh, you know, I haven't been as involved this year because of all my other commitments, but I think uh, the, the board that's there right now is doing a great job. They've done an amazing job bringing everyone together, continuing the tournament, getting community involved. And now I think it's an opportunity to make this even bigger. Why not take it to a much bigger scale, bring in more communities, bring in different backgrounds, different cities, which I think will be very easy because everyone has seen how, uh, how this tournament was run, uh, very professionally run. You've got professional referees uh, and you've got great competition. So I think the, there is no limit to where this tournament can go and I look forward to seeing that day when uh, it's a national level tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we wish you and the organization all the best and thank you so much for coming out today and uh, honoring the, the winning team as well. Thank you so much for being It was nice chatting with you. What a terrific game it's been. What an absolute nail biter. I personally, to be completely honest, haven't really been involved with the hockey world and this was going to be my chance to really get a taste of it and I'm absolutely hooked. What an absolute neck-to-neck -neck competition that we saw today up until the very last minute of the game, not until we actually went into the sudden death overtime did we actually see our first goal. It's because both of the goalies were really giving it their best and so were the rest of the teams. Just a really good show put on both defensively and off offensively and uh, we're just so excited to see the new heights this organization's reached just in terms of the the sheer caliber of the players, as well as how uh, structured the game was. Uh, we didn't see any any uh, particular altercations, so it was a fairly uh, well-played game, a lot of sportsmanship.
friendship on both sides. And uh, it's just been it's been terrific to be out here talking to the uh, PU police chief, talking to MPP Pramit Sarkaria, Jaskaran Sandhu, uh, a lot of the, the volunteers and people who make this or, uh, event happen year after year. Uh, of course, we're supporting the Sewa Meals for Humanity, just a terrific organization that's helping out uh, the homeless in uh, the downtown Toronto and also doing Prachar for Sikhi. So as Pramit said, it's a brilliant mixture of both charity and sport and this organization is doing great things for its community. So we hope it's going to continue to grow and uh, we'll continue to see more nail biter finals in the, in the future. Thank you for joining us today and we wish you all the best. Like Ji Ka Khalsa, Ji Ki Fateh.